Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at a smart media player um, or a TV box by Superbox. This is their 6K supported uh, media player. It is their model S3 Pro which also supports uh, voice control uh, technology which is a little bit different from some of their previous models so that would be quite nice and convenient and um, so first of all we're going to be looking at some of the quick features listed on the product and then we're going to be opening up the box to see what it has and what it looks like um, so on the side right here it lists some quick features so it has dual band Wi-Fi um, it also has storage of 2 gigabytes plus 32 gigabytes it supports up to 6k ultra HD it has an OTA and it has h265 which is a video compression standard not too important for me but I'll, we're gonna be looking at what is what's looking like inside so inside we have this So these these are all the uh, all the products that are inside, um, including the cable cable. So we have our charging cable right here, our HDMI cable, um, an instruction guide, a uh, remote control. With I'm not sure if it has batteries. Let's check it out. It doesn't have batteries, but it does require triple-a batteries so make sure to get two triple-a batteries for this and lastly okay I'm gonna do that later but lastly it has our super box um, TV box right here so now I'm going to quickly show you some of the remote control features and um, how the TV box works so I have, I have my smart TV box right here. Um, I just wanted to quickly show you some of the ports and how it works before we test it out. So on the front, we have our digital, um, this is supposed to be our um, digital receiver where you can see the time and the uh, IR remote sensor also senses um, the signals. And on the back and the sides, we have some ports. So we have a TF card slot, a USB 1 slot, USB 2 slot. There's a restore button all the way um, recessed in that little hole right there. There on the back, we have these um, antennas. And then we also have this DC port to plug in our power adapter. We have IR, AV, HDMI, LAN port, and SB, SPDIF port. Um, so this is how the box would sit on a surface. Um, the antennas are port protruding outwards. I wish the antennas did uh was able to swivel up top so it could save some uh, real estate on um, 
or different surfaces, but that's the only thing that I might change um, about this. So we also have some AAA batteries and I'm going to insert those in my remote control. And um, we're going to quickly go over the remote control and how to operate it. So I slid it in. Um, so the remote has a bunch of, it's your standard remote control design. It has power, mute button. There's two separate power buttons. I'm uh, assuming this is to control your TV. You have to probably um, configure that. Um, we have our play, stop, and fast forward buttons. We have a home button back. Um, error control and an enter button and there is also a mouse control button if that's what you want um, it's normally really hard to type in stuff using um, using these arrow keys so the mouse feature might be nice I would personally use the voice control feature which is much more accessible and faster we also have some fast forward and uh, move back buttons right here. I'm not sure what these are. There's our volume control and then a bunch of numbers to um, input. So that is it for our remote control and now we're going to test it out. Okay, so I have already connected my um, HDMI cable um, with the back of my TV right here, um, connected to um, HDMI 3, and now I'm just going to attach the power adapter. And there's a red dot glowing, as you can see, um, while it's starting up. And um, we have a digital um, menu right here. This is, this shows the time. Um, I'm assuming we can change it up according to what we need. Um, so now we're gonna test it out uh, by using the TV. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on using the power button right here. It's at super, um, it turned on and it's at the screen, super box screen, and it's starting up. While it starts up, I wanted to quickly go over some of its um, settings right here. It actually has a Bluetooth pairing, um, remote pairing guide and a programming function instruction to uh, set it up to TV control. Um, it's conveniently located, like the instructions are conveniently located in the back of the remote. I don't know if you can see it, but that that is a pretty neat idea to put it on the back to um, make sure it's in easy access but it's not written on the instruction manual or the product box that this is a feature. So I wish they would have listed that. Um, I am going to set up the Bluetooth remote pairing because I think that might be very useful for a lot of people um, instead of just using the IR controls. Um, so this, uh, the first screen on the Superbox uh, TV control setup is this disclaimer notice and I'm just going to press OK to agree and you just have to do some settings. Um, I'm going to use Wi-Fi um, so I, I'm going to use this one. Let's see, before I do that, let's see if it supports, um, if my um, 5G shows up. 
Okay, so let's see if it can connect to 5G. Uh, I'm gonna quickly input my password and come back. It's connecting to my Wi-Fi and while it does that, I want to quickly go over some of the... Okay, so it was able to connect to the 5G um, Wi-Fi splendidly, so uh, it does support both uh, the 2.4 and the 5.0 gigahertz Wi-Fi connections, which is great. Other than that, this is a standard um, Android 9.0 TV box. Um, it has a 2 gig RAM and a 35 gig internal storage. Um, it has uh, uh, support for different types of video decolor methods. It also supports a various audio formats and photo formats. It has USB connections and SD card reader capabilities as well. And it is um, it supports uh, various TVs. And the main feature is it's a 60s, uh, it's a 6K video player with um, 60 frames per second uh, support for uh, this player. So those those looks uh, look like some great features. Um, we're just gonna be testing out some some of the features on it on this TV box and see how it works. So. On the main menu, we have some features like Live TV, VOD, Playback, Browsers, App Store, Apps. Uh, these are current apps that are already in there. This is kind of like a um, regular um, Android device that might have some, some of those features. And then we can add some apps right here as well. To, um, to the home screen. Like let's say if you want, want to put gallery in here, uh, we can do that. And I just press the back button to go back and it just inputs gallery in there. There is um, some, some settings. There's files. Let's see, this looks like a settings menu. Um, so you can sign in to any um, Google account if you have it uh, from the settings. You can go to um, files. This is just an internal storage uh, for the media player. Um, I'm not sure what that means. It looks like a rocket flying over. So uh, that is some sort of system memory check. This looks like a accept and continue. I'm gonna, you can sign into Chrome if you want. I am not gonna sign in right now. I'm gonna, it's testing my internet speed for some reason. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Does it check internet speed? This is a trash menu. And this is our voice control feature that you can access through the home screen as well. Um, so, um, Uh, we got to pair the remote in Bluetooth pairing mode first um, for this voice control thing to work. I'm going to do that in a little bit. Uh, I just want to go over the menu real quick. Let's go back to the menu. And this is some more add functionalities. And uh, this is support. Um... Yeah, so those are some of the main features. I'm gonna quickly pair um, the Bluetooth mode and also sign in. Um, and then we're gonna see how it performs. 
Um, so I'm gonna pair, uh, turn the Bluetooth pairing mode on and um, on the app itself, it also gives you instructions uh, along with the back of the remote control. So you gotta press your enter and your back button at the same time for eight seconds until LED flashes to enter pairing state. So I'm gonna do that right now. So my remote control LED is flashing and then I'm gonna press okay. It was in pairing mode, now it's connected. Um, so I'm gonna try, try the voice control feature again to see what it works, if it works. And uh, as you can see, there's a voice control prompt right there. Um, I'm assuming you have to uh, put the remote control closer to you when you're speaking to make sure the search uh, speech input is correct. How are you? So I just asked it, how are you? And let's see what it does. Um, it's not doing uh, some sort of Google search. Let me see, let me first try to connect uh, to my Google account and um, connect to some apps to see if the voice control feature works better when there's um, apps that, that are already there. Okay. So I have connected to my uh, Google account already. Um, and we're gonna try to install some apps and test out the cool voice feature. Um, so let's first um, test out the voice feature within the Superbox uh, TV uh, media controls uh, itself. So I'm just gonna search for the Play Store. Um, so I'm gonna press the blue button right here. I'm just gonna wait until the voice prompt menu shows up on the TV um, and then speak uh, closely to the remote control. Open Play Store. So it was able to quickly recognize uh, what I wanted. And I want to install YouTube. Let's see if it does that for me. Install YouTube. Okay, so it's t taking me to my store, which I don't is the uh, app store within um, the Superbox TV. I'm not. Sh I want to try doing it through the Play Store again. Um, I want to see if this works within this app. Okay, so I selected the search menu for the Play Store. YouTube. So it, it opened up YouTube. I'm not sure if this was already installed. Let me just check uh, my apps. Um, okay, you, it seems like YouTube was installed. Let's try another one. Um, I want to try Spotify. Open Spotify. I 
it's not doing anything um let's try search for spotify um yeah um it seems like on the play store this voice control feature is not as um active let's so uh, you probably have to uh, install it yourself if you're using the play store or go to um the the app store for for the for the super box and just um, download whatever apps that you want these are some of the quick ones that are there YouTube is already downloaded um, so we're just gonna use that open YouTube so for the uh, functions that it does recognize it's pretty quick about them um so that is good i am going to search for some videos and show you how it looks like um so 4k videos so um the search feature works quite um the voice control for with the search works quite well it recognizes um what you're saying quite quickly and um it is able to quickly input that the only problem i found was um using the search menu on the play store but um with apps already installed um it was no problem um searching for um, videos um, so I'm just gonna show you one of these videos that they have let's search for another one 4k 4k videos copyright free um, so let's look at the first uh, video right here and obviously these will look uh, like the video quality and everything will look amazing if you have the right equipment for it unfortunately I do not my um, TV does not support 4k videos or 6k videos um, or um, like it doesn't really support really high quality uh, videos but if that is something that you're looking for these will um, this um, smart box will obviously work for your device um, I really like some of the cool uh, functionalities and features that are part of this new version where they have like the Bluetooth pairing mode so you can like use any angle to uh, for example I'm like just pointing on the back right I'm not pointing towards the TV I don't have to point exactly at the IR sensor for it to recognize commands I, as long as I'm in the Bluetooth range it will um, it will recognize any of your um, commands that you're giving it through the remote which is an amazing feature um it is so much more convenient than having to get up to make sure that you're pointing exactly at the ir sensor um i really like that and i also like that if you're if you can um set up the tv control right in the remote control and have all in one remote um that is also very convenient and obviously the voice control feature is also very convenient to quickly search up items instead of having to type everything in although there are some stuff that does require typing uh, and I feel like the voice control feature won't work as well such as like email addresses or passwords that are complicated 
uh, you might have to type those in as well. Um, I did notice that it was like the voice control was not working on, um, it was not working on um, the Play Store for some reason, uh, but it was working when, when the apps were installed um, in the uh, Superbox itself. Yeah, so that is it for my review. Um, the Superbox did some really great upgrades that I um, I like. Um, some of the it it improved vastly, and it was um, it's really amazing. Um, you're able to use um, a lot of Android apps or any apps. Uh, that you normally use on your phone on such a device and um, that's great it has like a wide range of compatibility you don't um, it's just like your uh, phone but in on the TV so which is much better um, all right thank you guys for watching I hope you like this reel and I'll see you another